let's see. I'm rules of pocket now. Okay, pocket now. And here are the top, uh, no, top five. Five most popular note taking apps for Android. All right, ready to go. Three, two, The five apps we have on our hands here are Evernote, Google Keep, OneNote, Inkpad, and ColorNote. Apparently these apps have at least 10 million downloads logged with Evernote marked at 100, so there you go. And no duh, they all take notes. You open up a notepad and type whatever you want. All of them even do checklists of some sort. But there are vast differences between all of them, and we'll go through each of them one by one. Let's start with Inkpad from Developer Workpale, and it's basically the equivalent of store brand Notepad. You can type or dictate, if you dare, a note in some milk toast typeface, although you can change it in the settings. You can also write up a checklist or a shopping list. The shopping list part of it actually just tags an Amazon search button to your item. If you plan on shopping out more for the grocery stores, this feature won't do much for you. Each document you make cannot be attached to a notebook or a binder of any kind. It's just notes, 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 notes. Inkpad is free, but the Atlas version features unlimited syncing, really, historical tracking for up to 10 revisions of a document, offline notes access, and increased storage for a couple bucks a month or 20 a year. If you can't tell, I'm kind of not impressed with this app and the website it's attached to. I mean, look at the lists, there aren't even check marks. Color Note is our next step up, and it's also a pretty Spartan Notes and Lists client. Still no notebooks for the hyper-organized, but at least you can color code your notes in nine ways and set a reminder, an alarm, or a passcode to them. You can archive notes for later looking up too. List entries are also web searchable. And at least all of this is free, no ads. Period. Coming up to OneNote, this runner-up contender gets to the more comprehensive features of a note-taking client. Instead of color coding, though, we're talking about notebooks divided into sections, divided into pages. So that's how Microsoft's taking that road. There are a couple more word processing features like type formatting, different listing bullets, and indentation change. Here you can add pictures and audio memos, as well as some scrawlings and highlights. Actually, scrawlings are called inkings, and if I had a compatible stylus, I could use it to make horrible landscapes or whatever I need to to remember things. You also have the ability to link notes directly from the home screen. What you do lose is being able to set reminders for your notes, so there's the give and take. One note is free, you just have to have a Microsoft account which will remind you of that Hotmail account you left a long time ago. Evernote is our first place winner, as the most popular record-keeping app of record, there's a bevy of functionality that puts it above OneNote. Yes, it has almost all of the above, except for color sorting, but in place of that, you have tags. Real word tags. There's also a work chat function if you're collaborating on a report, though it's pretty bare bones as is. And the camera has some beefed up modes too. Document scanning does a pretty good job doing what it's supposed to, but it's not an OCR program. Also, you'll have to grab the free Sketch Companion app to make any annotations to your doc picture. There's integration to Post-it brand sticky notes, although you can use any sticky notes you want. And business card reading. The latter function requires a paid premium subscription, though you can get one year's use for free by connecting your LinkedIn account. The basic edition is free to use, but you're only allowed to upload up to 60 megabytes of stuff a month. Evernote Plus ups that amount to one gigabyte monthly and allows for offline access and note locks, as well as email to note conversion. That's just under $3 a month or $25 a year. And finally, we have Google Keep, which is our wild card for this game. While the column interface doesn't exactly feel right in a notes app, word processing lacks formatting options, and there's no passcode locking, Keep has a huge advantage. There's color sorting, labels and reminders, and rather rudimentary but functional optical character recognition. Now, this isn't our top choice, but we put it here last because if a lot of your paperwork is actually paper and you want to work within the digital ether, well, here's the most viable option for you for now. And it's free. What about your notes? What do you use? Tell us below. 
On your way out, make sure to click the thumbs up and subscription buttons if you liked the content, and visit PocketNow's main site for in-depth coverage. My name is Jules Wong. I'm on Twitter at Greenpoint Zero. Note to self, don't put sensitive checklists on YouTube. There we go. Thanks for watching.